Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today. Today we're going to look into Volta Foundation, which made a new study and report about the EV business in general. And it looks into all the supply chain, so all parts of the entire business of EVs, as well as storage, photovoltaic, etc. So very important report here. We're going to look into all the details. If you do enjoy it, do consider subscribing. And the main part will be about battery manufacturing, because that is the key component to have EV business succeed in the next few years. And it is clearly showing that the industry, despite what the political environment is, has already decided what the future is. And we're going to look into that right now. Now, the cell and pack manufacturing is the biggest part here, which, which has already a market cap of $184 billion. And then we have as well materials processing with 62 billion. And we have, of course, the raw material mining and refining. And this is the part, raw material mining and refining, where a lot of people are criticizing um, the sustainability. Of course, it's not so green. Um, but again, we have the other part, on the other hand, where redwood materials is missing. I don't know why. But the recycling part is the key factor here. So once you have a battery, you need an industry that is um, concentrating on recycling all the parts to put it together back to a new battery. And that is the key component to make EV business succeed over the next decades. And we do need this business part. It is valued at 40 billion right now, but we can expect it to increase by a lot. Now we have as well materials processing, we have battery data, and we're also going to look into one example here. Of course, um, the entire report from Volta Foundation is um, concentrating on all car makers and all combined have the same strategy. They have strong partnerships, for example, with Tesla here, with Panasonic, Lincoln Tech and Talon Metals. But there are, of course, many more that Tesla is partnering with. On the other hand, we have Ford. They are also partnering with CATL. They are also partnering with EcoPro BM and many more. And on the other hand, all of them are trying to invest into production. Some more, some less. For example, Ford with 50 billion investment pledge. And then, of course, Tesla with Austin, Texas, lithium refinery, cathode production. But this is only the US. We are expecting more investments in Tesla is investing in Giga Berlin, in Giga Shanghai. They are still investing in Fremont a bit. So lots of investment happening. And that is why EVs are here to stay. The industry has already decided it. If they want it or not, it doesn't matter if they are subsidies from um, big governments coming. If it's in the US or Europe, it doesn't matter. EVs are here to stay. Now, if we are talking about EV business and the entire supply chain, sometimes we forget what announcements are happening every single day out there. I'm just going to put an example out here from last year in January. We have Northwood, Panasonic and Redwood Materials Partnership, Quantum Scope Influence, LG Chem having an announcement, Factoro, then we have GM and LG working together, Stordat and Vinfast. Voltaic, Batemo and another company out there. So Volvo coming with an announcement. And this is only four weeks in one year. So do you see what is happening here? We're going to look into another month as an example why this is something that many, many people out there forget. Some people think these electric vehicles, they are just a trend and they are going to be disappearing at some point. That is not the case. We have clear indications that everybody in the industry is starting to partner with other companies to establish an EV brand. But of course, that doesn't mean that those brands are going to have a successful, um, very nice product. This is a different story. But in the back end, in the supply chain, there's a lot of things happening. So we have, for example, here Tesla with Liontown, Rivian with Samsung, LG with NEC and more and more companies fought with Sunrun. And this was just the second month. So we have just watched eight weeks in 2022. But there's things happening every single day out there. And many times when we talk about EVs, we cannot even 
catch all these news that are happening because it's so much already. And this clearly shows that the industry, when it comes to battery technology, when it comes to supply chains of uh, materials, of components, refining, mining, or um, building, for example, machinery for production of EVs, this is all here to stay. And they are doing some good money already out there. And these partnerships always being announced will take some time to have a real impact. So everything that you see here, this is just the beginning of a partnership. When we look into the industry in general, when it comes to battery production, we also see that CATL is the leading battery manufacturer. Um, they have 10 factories, then LG Energy Solution with six, BYD with six, Panasonic with nine, and then we have so on new um, battery suppliers as well. Who is missing here? Northvolt is a company that is very famous in Europe. I think they're going to climb this letter and Tesla, of course. But I think we're going to see the impact in two or three years where Tesla will be one of the top battery manufacturers in the world. We haven't seen that right now on this statistic yet. So we have those entire companies being fully committed to EVs. We see that based on the number down there from CATL as well. Um, there are as well not only EVs, but there are as well as the storage business, which needs a lot of batteries as well. We do know that from Tesla when it comes to mega packs or power walls. And of course, there are other brands as well in this business. We're going to look into that in a moment. But we have clear indication that this is all going into the right direction. By the way, if you look into ecarreview.de or .com, you can check out my own group. Lots of people from Germany, I would like to have you there as well. And you can as well rate your Tesla or other EV that you drive on ecarreview.com. Check out this website. It's a great project and I do have invested a lot of time in there because they were asking me to be part of this great project. I would like to see the, you there as well. Now, we have as well partnerships in general in another statistic here. We have Tesla with CATL, LG, BYD, Panasonic. But for, for, for example, we have Rivian here. We have Ford actually going all over the place. And we have a BYD, of course, with themselves. <laughs> and then we have um, Nissan, Honda. But we can see that CATL is the leading company and they are delivering batteries to everybody. So if CATL is working on a new battery with higher energy density and is very successful in launching it, we hope that this will happen this year with a higher energy density of 15 to 20 percent, then not only Tesla could get it, um, it's only other brands that can also profit from this new technology. At the end of the day, the battery is one thing. The efficiency of the car is a different thing. So um, we still have to um, take that into account. So um, this is a major um, yeah, sign here that many people are invested with um, partnerships. And we have as well more partnerships. When it comes to the kind of batteries people are working on, we have companies that maybe you have never heard of. Stardot is one of them that has some kind of name already out there. Solid Power, Prologium, Ionic, um, Factorial that I named already before. And then you have the companies being invested in them. Uh, in them. Cyan Power with BASF as well and Samsung. And we have as well BASF in Svold. So there are so many companies invested, which are not only car companies, but as well other companies out there. We have as well, for example, Xiaomi or Neo invested as well. BP already invested in Stordot like Mercedes, Samsung. Um, so you see big names out there that are not famous to support uh, the um, EV business in general, but they are already investing into those companies because they hope to have part of the business when it comes to solid state technology. What do you think about solid state? Let me know down in the comment section. Now we have as well investments into the battery segment to um, create new higher energy density. And uh, CATL is very good in doing that. There are other companies working on it as well. And CATL is close to launching its battery um, in 2023. It will be an LMFP battery. So it has a 15 to 20% higher energy density. And this is as well 
because they have a crystal structure and manganese, which gives the LMFP battery a theoretical energy density of up to 230 watt hour per kilogram. So let's see if this is going to get into reality. Um, again, I believe CATL has proven to be a leader when it comes to battery manufacturing. And I think that we can expect more um, technology coming from CATL in the coming years. Let me know what you think, which battery manufacturer will be a leading manufacturer. Tesla will be investing a lot, um, but I'm still cautious to see how fast they can scale production. Now, when it comes to EV business in general worldwide, we see it has been at 10.6 million in 2022. You might think, well, that is the wrong number. No, in this study, they have actually taken as well hybrid cars. Um, but me personally, I'm not a fan of hybrid cars. It has been a technology for quite some time that they use because of range anxiety of customers. But I believe that pure electric cars will be the way to go. So most of these um, yeah, hybrid cars are actually um, sold from BYD. But I do expect um, that the pure electric cars will, the key, will be the key part here when it comes to growth towards 2025 and then 2030. Many countries in the world are actually talking about banning ICE cars by 2030 or 2035. So we can expect many people to think about buying an um, EV already in 2030 because why should you buy an ICE car when the value of the car is just going to decrease um, by so much. Now, when it comes to stationary storage, we have as well other companies in the US, um, European Union and Asian Pacific. Um, Tesla is everywhere because of their mega packs, because of their power walls. They have a backlog of over a year and a half when it comes to um, the mega packs. Of course, batteries are needed. We have talked about all the um, companies being invested in battery production and scaling that. And this is the key um, part for residential um, storage and, of course, for um, the big storage parks that Tesla is working on in Australia, um, Canada, um, in Ireland. There's a project as well. And there's as well LG inside. There's SunPower, Solar Edge, Lunar Energy, Enphase, um, Generic. So you see there are a lot of names that people which don't really invest time um, to look into what's happening with that industry. There's a lot of companies that people don't have um, on their watch. But so, yes, in this case, you see some names out there. And this could be, again, this is not a financial advice, some good investments when it comes to stocks, if you're lucky. Now, when it comes to the charging infrastructure, that is the same thing. We always talk about Tesla. And yes, Tesla has been doing an amazing job. They are the biggest provider when it comes to fast charging, supercharging. But there is a lot of other companies out there. And that is also important because we need more investments. And there is VW, Toyota. Um, there, Well, Toyota is not so big yet, but we have many companies out there um, that need for their customers infrastructure when it comes to charging. And this is important to see here that we have electrical upgrades avoidance, for example. Then we have next generation chargers and down there electrical control equipment. So that's an entire industry by itself again. Not only do we have the car business, we have the charging business and the entire supply chain. And we have the entire supply chain when it comes to storage and power walls. So this is the key factor here to watch. Charging is important. Um, a lot of companies should move into there. If everyone is going to stay in the business, that is a different question. Another factor is as well the um, amount of cars being actually sold. The um, diversity out there. Yes, there's uh, Tesla that is doing amazing cars. But sometimes it's important to have other car companies out there with other models and more models. And at the end of the day, the customer can decide what cars they want to take. And competition, um, I call it that in this case, or diversity in the models is better um, than just having one brand out there. So that is increasing as well. And here we have a good example where the money is going, and that is cell manufacturing. That is where most of the money is going. Total raised in 2022 was $40 billion, and most of the money is going into cell manufacturing. What's interesting is, is the increase from 2021 to 2022 
in the section of energy storage and grid. This is uh, something we have to watch over the next few years. I think that's going to be the second biggest investment part. It is already right now where most of the money is going after cell manufacturing. And I think this is going to be more and more in the next years. We are talking about Europe trying to go into uh, full renewable energy in the next years, even though it is a hard discussion sometimes when it comes to um, the governments. But the market is moving, so we need more storage, and that is going to be a major business. For the last slide, just an overview how the entire battery technology is going over the, fast, uh, over the past years. And you see down there the years and on the left side the energy density. So we need not bigger batteries for a car. We need the same size of batteries with higher energy density and way more range. We are already at a good spot. But the key factor is not a, better, a bigger battery like BMW tries to do that or be a Mercedes. No, you need to have a small battery and that is going to be with a higher range. And this is only possible through higher energy density. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed um, everything I have talked about. If that is the case, do consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. And I do wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Bye bye.